Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and two foods are highly symbolic of this holiday, chocolate and booze. Instead of having your chocolate and alcohol separately, let's combine them into one of the three chocolate cocktails I have for you today. That way all the booze-filled flirting can end quicker and lead to... Better not say, I'll get demonetized. Okay, before we actually make the chocolate martini, let's do a little uh, glass decorating. For this, we're gonna need chocolate sauce. Now you can use Hershey's chocolate syrup, but it's too thin and runny. The Scaradelli brand is the perfect thickness. So start from the bottom and slowly turn and spiral your way up to the top. Set that aside. All right, grab yourself a cocktail shaker, fill it with ice, and using this, uh, I think it's called a jigger. Oh, and uh, I'll provide a link to this in the description. Let's throw in one ounce of vodka. One ounce of Kahlua. Two ounces of Bailey's Irish Cream. And two ounces of chocolate liqueur. All right, slap on the lids. Oh, and a quick word on cocktail shaking. Shake with two hands holding onto the shaker. Hold with two hands, one on top, one on the bottom. Because if you don't, the lid can come flying off and your entire kitchen is gonna look like Jackson Pollock's toilet bowl on taco night. Just lift up the shaker by your head and just rock it back and forth like this a few times. Also, don't shake with one hand because... Yeah. We have our martini glass. And pour our martini into the glass with a strainer to filter out any ice shards. And finally, garnish with a strawberry. And here we go, folks. A beautiful chocolate martini. Just like the girl you'll be making this for. If she isn't, well, um, you might want to make a few extra of these before she comes home. Now, to make the muddy avalanche, oh, by the way, it's an alcoholic milkshake, not whatever it is you think you mean. So Susan, please don't demonetize. Let's start off with cup decorating. Now to decorate this, I have a bowl of melted chocolate and just coat the very top of the outside of our milkshake glass. Top it off with some chocolate sprinkles. And uh, don't want this to go to waste, so bust out a nice high-powered blender and add two cups of chocolate ice cream. Then add two ounces of chocolate liqueur. Two ounces Bailey's Irish cream. And one ounce Kahlua. Blend until smooth. And if it's a bit on the thin side, I'll add a little bit more chocolate. All right, it's a little bit more thicker. All right, pour our shake into our milkshake glass. Top it off with some whipped cream. And drizzle it with a little bit of chocolate sauce. Oh, can't forget the straw. And voila, a perfect frozen chocolate cocktail ready for any hot Valentine's Day. And considering the lack of progress made in counteracting global warming, expect more of them to come. And now for the final cocktail, a hot chocolate cocktail. 
Oh, to hope you guys don't mind the new shirt. Got a little overzealous with the chocolate sauce earlier. Okay, so in a two quart sauce pot, add three cups of milk, one cup of heavy cream. Oh boy, I didn't have the camera on. I'm not doing it again. One 14 ounce can of condensed milk. Whisk everything together. Bring it to a boil over high heat. Okay, when you see bubbles, immediately kill the heat. Trust me, you let this thing boil too long, it'll bubble up, spill all over, and your stove's gonna be looking like the aftermath of a porn set directed by Casper. Next, add six ounces of milk chocolate and three ounces of dark chocolate. Wait a moment for the chocolate to melt. Okay, stir. Just keep stirring until you no longer see any chocolate specks. Finally, the booze. Add half a cup of Kahlua. And half a cup of chocolate liqueur. I know that seems like a lot of alcohol, but you gotta remember that it has a lower boiling point than water. And when we introduce it to the hot chocolate, some of it will boil off. All right, let's give it a quick taste test. A little bit more chocolate liqueur. Grab yourself a mug and ladle some in. Top it off with some whipped cream. And a quick drizzle of chocolate sauce. And those, are, and those are three chocolate cocktails ideas you can serve up on Valentine's Day. You know what? This cocoa could use a little bit more booze. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and needing it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Oh God, after this, I don't want to eat another speck of chocolate ever again in my life.